they are using other games' assets to make it look like a high-end game to drive more people to be willing. This is a picture from Forza? Fuck it. Huh? Last week, I made a video exposing Paradise, a supposed GTA 6 rival with more red flags than I can personally count. And you may be thinking I'm making this follow-up video to debunk the Q&A they did earlier this week. You know what's crazy? Week. I but saw them the pop thing. up on my I like... I don't have to. Because me and my... What Me and my team have found the evidence to prove that this game is already scamming people as we speak. That's we crazy. We have more evidence to suggest that Ultra Games is from Russia. We can confirm they stole everything about their trailer, and we can without a doubt prove that this game has already scammed people with their PAR token. So without further ado, let's begin. I in saw this game come up in my my browse features, bro. In, in, in my on my homepage, I saw this come up. And I was like, oh, shoot, is this game coming out? And then I watched the trailer. I was like, this looks just like AI completely. In case you didn't watch and then my I saw last this video, video I was like, I on this watch topic, it. I recommend watching that first, then coming back here for full context. It's but right. since that video was released, we have come across some context. new evidence that will bury this game before it even comes out. I will be referencing the Q&A here and now, there. Now, if, if it's definitely a need, like if I don't understand anything that's happening in this video, then I'll go. Watch that one for context. And a link to it will be in the description for those who would like to read. But now, let's get into the evidence. First, let's start with the trailer again. I won't go into it like I did with my last video, but we found something new that is very intriguing. Around 10 months ago, a trailer released for a GTA RP server that is literally called Paradise RP. Oh and to my the people in my comments who said the trailer looks like GTA RP, you may be closer than you think. Here is the trailer for Paradise RP. And here is the trailer. Oh my trailer god, that looks exactly trailer for the Paradise game. Welcome to the city of limitless The same music is crazy. The music and the logo are the exact same. The same music is nuts. The name is the exact same, and the motto of the server is the exact same phrase stated in the trailer. Where dreams become reality. Where your dreams become reality. Now, I need to clarify that I'm not saying that this RP server is behind Paradise, but rather that whoever is behind Paradise completely ripped off this idea from this trailer. Wow. Which is unfortunate because as of today, this RP server is completely dead which means that no one is going to be pressing Paradise about stealing their designs. Uh, Another fact that people may have worst. missed if they were an early viewer to my last video is that we confirmed that Ultra Games offices don't exist, and they tried to explain this in their Q&A. Where is your company's registered legal address? If you happen to look at the pinned comment on my last video, I actually had a viewer named Erica who went to the address of the Ultra Games offices that used to be listed on their website. Oh, nah. And to no one's Hong surprise, Kong? Erica found nothing. Wow. In their answer, they tried to explain this by saying that the address was their legal office and not their physical office, Cap. which makes literally no sense. Cap. Either they pay for a legal address they never use while also having a physical address, or they are simply just completely lying. And I'm going to go with the latter on this one. Lying Notice how they sure. didn't give us a physical address either. They knew that if they did, someone would go and try to find it again, and they can't risk that because then the scam would be out in the open. So I kind of took that as a little challenge. I did some more digging through the official Hong Kong company directory oh and found another address for Ultra Games Limited. And once again, it leads to another office building with no mention of Ultra Games anywhere. But here's the thing. We may have figured out exactly oh, why shit. that is and they may not be in Hong Kong at all. From their mm. latest Q&A, they answered a question they will probably regret after this video. In the Q&A, they answered, what is the current status of the Paradise app? We oh talked boy. about the Paradise app in my last video, which is the site they were using to promote and sell their PAR token, the in-game currency they're planning on using within Paradise. Well, what if I told you 
that this is where the scam has been taking place all along. Fluby, a member in our Discord, found a Russian article that took a deep dive into how the Paradise app works, and it has been confirmed to be a complete scam. This Paradise is crazy. Tap, the app which is accessible through Telegram, and the Paradise game are one and the same. You can Telegram? earn tokens through the app by tapping the icon, kind of like Cookie Clicker, if you remember, or by completing simple challenges like watching YouTube videos or subscribing to Telegram channels, oh, which Paradise proves in their own Q&A when they state, we will also add daily tasks and small jobs that can be completed to earn in-game currency, providing an opportunity to earn resources even outside the main game. Dumb. They failed to mention here, however, that you could also purchase PAR tokens by exchanging another cryptocurrency called XRP, which was oh, found no. by looking at their website on the Wayback Machine from two months ago. The entire point of the app is that these tokens could then be used to purchase in-game items within the Paradise game, or you could exchange them into USD Tether and make them into real-world money like they advertise in their trailers and on the app. You can find many videos online of people acquiring tens or even hundreds of thousands of tokens through this app in hopes of turning it into real world money. Idiot. Well, it turns out that there's one simple problem, and it's that Alter Games never made it possible to ever withdraw your funds. <laughs> From the reviews of the app, oh, there brother. was never a way to exchange your PAR tokens to USDT and therefore into real world money. The reviews on the article all say that there is no way to withdraw funds, effectively scamming all of those people out of the tokens they acquired. There is people who exchange their XRP, they gave them PAR tokens in exchange, and those PAR tokens essentially became useless, and you could never exchange those tokens back into real world money. That is Insane. exactly why in the next question in their Q&A talking about crypto, they state, Cryptocurrency and blockchain will not be integrated into the game. It's because it needs to be earned through the Telegram Paradise app, which could then be used later to purchase stuff in-game. In their Q&A, they claim wow. that the app was released in a closed beta, but that isn't true because there are a ton of Russian videos related to it, and people have already left reviews saying that it was a scam. And the Nuts. worst part, is that they still plan to release the app in the future. From their own answer, it states, the preliminary launch date is scheduled for a period following the main game's release, which will allow us to fully prepare the app for public use and offer users a convenient tool to interact with the game. This is Everything nuts. that Paradise has been doing from their trailers and their Twitter posts so has just nasty. been to hype up the game, which in turn will hype up the value of their tokens. When the game is released, the token's value will- Plus, I think all of those creators that they just showed in that little slideshow thing, I think none of- I don't think any of them advocated for the game. Or even co-signed it. That shit is crazy. Skyrocket from the demand of people thinking they can buy items in-game, and then the developers will most likely sell their stake when it's at its peak, and most likely abandon the project forever. This idea is continued in the next question of their Q&A. Are you utilizing technologies and resources from Epic Games and other companies for game development? Remember, this is an alleged AAA game company that we are talking about here, as I mentioned in my last video. They themselves admit to using pre-made assets, tools, visual effects, voiceovers, gameplay systems, models, and textures. And we can prove this because Hard Hempus on Twitter already created the Paradise game in just two days oh, by nuts. adding all of the same assets that people pointed out in my last video. Which then begs the question of what did they even develop themselves? And the answer is the app. My theory is that they are using other games' assets to make it look like a high-end game to drive more people to be willing. This is a picture from Forza? Fuck it. Other games' assets to make it look like a high-end game to drive Oh my gosh. More people to be willing to invest in their PAR tokens. And this is exactly what they bring up in the Russian article. 
It states, Paradise Tap, the official name of the app, is a necessary tool for the Paradise Simulator. It will allow people to unite into clans and alliances, distribute tokens in them, and implement various real economic models. At the same time, the native token should become a liquid asset that will be willingly traded on the exchange. And they continue Insane. by saying, To do this, Paradise must offer something unique on the Web3 market so that venture funds and large investors become interested in the project. Otherwise, the potential of the token will never be revealed. PAR will remain a native token without much demand on the exchange. That is exactly why they came to us in an email advertising it as a GTA 6 rival. The price Wait, they were in us your in an email, email? at exchange. That is exactly why they came to us in an email advertising it as a GTA 6 rival. Oh my. The price of this I token is completely. directly tied to how much demand is on the game. So if the developers advertise this game as, oh, I don't know, something like a GTA 6 competitor, the demand for the coin will skyrocket. And who do you think is in control of the most PAR tokens? That's right the developers. Everything that Paradise has done has been to build up hype from players hoping they will invest in their coin and make it worth buying, which then drives up the price of the token and the developers who are loaded with it can sell it off and make millions. This to me without a doubt proves that this is nothing more than a pump and dump scam. The same 247 reviews and it has two stars. That's same thing I mentioned in my last video. I One last note that, that I want to make before I end off this video is that it has been confirmed that if this game does release, it will use a kernel level anti-cheat, which will give the developers full access to everything on your PC. Oh no! Nah, For this okay. reason, I do not recommend downloading this game at any point no matter what Ultra Games tells you about this game. They will continue to tell you anything they want as long as they get you to buy in. I hope this video proves Insane. once and for all for those still on the fence that this game is nothing more than a massive scam. And because of that, this will be my last video covering this topic because I want to get back to my big GTA projects. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay safe out there and I'll see y'all in the next. Yo, that's fucking wild. Yo, there's no way they've been getting away with this for the Paradise Roleplay server thing has actually commented under his video hi guys thank you for making this video just want to clarify a couple of things first we're not associated with the paradise game and have been in development for over about a year now our server is a role play server based on gta 5 through the platinum rage lastly we're still alive and kicking team needs any help from us please feel free to contact us at any time it's unfortunate others are stealing our content but it shows it goes to show how good of a product we created